Hey guys, today we're making a miniature laptop. Please note that although I'm using black and grey clay in this video, you can use any colors you want. Also, if you want, you can definitely add more details or make changes to the design. This is just a fairly basic version. Begin by making a stencil from paper in the size you want the laptop. Then roll out a thin sheet of black clay and cut it out. Put that on top of a sheet of grey clay and do the same thing. Roll out an even thinner sheet of clay and use this to create the frame for the keyboard. You can use your dotting tools or fingers to blend and smooth out the clay. Make sure you have enough room for the keyboard and speakers, roll out a sheet of black clay in the same thickness as the frame, and cut and place a bunch of small buttons. Cut out a block of clay in the size you want the mouse pad, bake it and use it to make a dent on the laptop. Then use a needle tool to make the two buttons. Mark off and cut a couple of slots for the hinges. Now, I didn't get a shot of this, but before baking, I used my blade to separate the two layers where the hinges should go and put one head pin between the sheets of clay on each side. I also used a needle tool to make the speakers. Then sand the bottom if needed and round off the bottom of the front edge as well as the top and bottom of the back edge. I also used my X-Acto knife to cut a few holes for USBs, headphones, etc. Then cut four rectangles for the feet and use liquid clay to make them stick, then bake again. To make the top, roll out a sheet of dark grey clay and use the bottom you just made as a guide. I'm using dark grey instead of black, so that the screen will be slightly lighter than the frame. Then roll out a really thin sheet of black, create the frame and bake. After baking, I sanded the top surface and rounded off three of the edges on top.
To make the hinges, simply wrap strips of black clay around the needle tool, then bake. When baked properly, most brands of polymer clay should be strong and flexible, so it's fine to use for the hinges. The brand I used for this is Fimo. I then just added Fimo Deco Gel to the screen, but you don't necessarily have to do this, I just like the effect. I also used Fimo Deco Gel to attach the hinges, and added a small dot to look like a webcam. After baking, I attached it to the bottom piece, just pull out the head pins, add the screen and push the head pins back in. Then just cut off any excess. Now paint the laptop with acrylic paint. with glaze and you're done.